Is there a fifth gun safety rule that you're forgetting when you're going to the range? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Today I want to talk about something that people may be forgetting when they go to the range. The shooting range can be a great place to learn, have fun, and learn self-discipline. Gun safety rules must be followed to ensure a safe and fun environment. Unfortunately, accidents can and do happen. A gun is simply a tool. It is up to us to ensure a safe and fun shooting experience. That's why today I would like to thank today's sponsor, and that is Rhino Rescue. Rhino Rescue offers a wide variety of medical kits, IFX, refill kits, and much more. Whether you're a prepper or someone who wants that extra peace of mind that comes with having life-saving gear, Rhino Rescue will have what you need for an affordable price. As most of you know, or you should know, there are four basic firearm rules. One, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Treat every gun as if it's loaded. Never point your gun at something you're not intended to destroy. Know your target and beyond. But I do think one extra rule should be added and that is having some sort of a medical kit with you, specifically some sort of bleed out kit, bleed control. That way in case, God forbid, something does happen and you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere where I go, I mean, it's a 40 minute trip to and from, no cell service. So it's important to have some type of gear on hand when you're at the range. But just having a metal kit is not enough. You need to know how to use the equipment inside properly, quickly, so it is effective to stop that bleed if you have to. And that's why today I'm gonna to be going over one of Rhino Rescue's bleed control kits or IFAX. This has a lot of stuff to stop heavy bleeding. So it's got tourniquet, other things in there. I have not gotten into this yet and yes, they did send this to me. They reached out to me and asked me if I would like to review it, of course. I think medical equipment is one thing you really can't have too much of. And this is not necessarily just for the range, uh, but I do think that that is a absolute necessary piece of gear. If you're going to the range, I have been carrying medical gear with me uh, to the range for years and years. It's just good to have, but again, know how to apply these things. These things are not going to do you any good if you do not know how to properly use it. If you go out by yourself, do make sure that you are able to apply a tourniquet by yourself. Know how to do that. It's not ideal, but you may have to do that if you find yourself, unfortunately, in that situation. I'm not giving any kind of medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I'm not an EMT. So I strongly suggest you get training or do research, learn how to use the gear in your kit, this kit, any kit that you have. Knowing how to use your medical equipment is absolutely crucial. So without further ado, all that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. I have not got into this yet, so it's just as they sent it to me, so we'll go ahead and get started here. It does come in a Molly pack. You can attach it to a backpack, uh, your kit, plate care, whatever you wanna do, and it does have some Molly on the front as well. First off, in the top here, you have some gauze and some combat tape. Next, you have a nasal airway. Now again, this is something that you need to learn how to use before you start sticking stuff like this inside of a person, their mouth, nose, whatever. Make sure you know how to use this. Now, this did, in the package, it did come with a small booklet on how to do some certain procedures. I don't have it with me at this time, but it does come with the kit too, so that will kind of help you. But again, the more training and knowledge you can get with medical equipment, the better. I also do recommend taking some sort of CPR class. If you could take a first responder class, hey, that's great. You know, if God forbid SHTF happens, medical gear will be in high demand and it will be absolutely crucial to survival. Next, we just have like a little uh, Sharpie. Then we have a emergency bandage. I'm sure some of you have seen these. They're really big cloth. They wrap around. They kind of have like a little hook, uh, but again, know how to apply it properly. It comes with some medical shears. I'll go ahead and open these up. My opener. So it does have like a little hook there. You can hook it to something if you want to externally. They, uh, they actually feel pretty decent. They don't feel super cheap. So obviously having some sort of scissors, something you're gonna wanna clear clothing quickly. So you wanna make sure you have something sharp. And next is a vented chest seal. Has directions on the back, but again, these are 
crucial piece of items that you want to make sure that you're applying properly, especially if you're dealing with a gunshot wound to the chest or something like that. You got to know how to use these things properly. Then next we have some compressed gauze. I do have to say everything feels packaged very, very well. And I did tell them I would give my honest opinion on this kit, so I'm not just saying it. I think packaging is a big deal when it comes to stuff like this. You want to make sure things are sealed good. They stay sterilized until you need to use them. And this um, gloves. And then a little thing of lubricating jelly. As you can see, this is the combat tape that is in the top pocket here. And I take it back. The other thing was not gauze. It is elastic grip bandage. Sorry about that. And then last but not least is the tourniquet. Now this is the part that I've been most interested in because you can definitely get tourniquets for very, very cheap. I have a couple here I'm gonna kind of do a comparison with. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, you know, for anywhere between 10 to $12. I know a lot of people are like, no, don't get those, get the real thing. I do absolutely agree with that if you're gonna get those. Everybody's gotta start somewhere and I know people are like, oh, well, just, you know, save up, save up, save up. You know, sometimes it's good to get some equipment that will work in a pinch. It may not last you forever, but still having something is better than nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now I do have, this is your just cheap tourniquet from Amazon. I think, like I said, around 10 to $12. And then this is more of your combat style tourniquet. This one's, you know, $30 and up. You can definitely tell, I think here, as far as like the thickness of the, the material, this is the cheap one. And then this is the more expensive one. The rod, I'm not sure what you call that, forgive me, is definitely a lot thicker. The part you twist is definitely a little bit thicker as well. So this one definitely feels much heftier than this one here. So go ahead and open this one. This one already, just in the packaging, is already feels much <laughs> significantly bigger than your cheaper one. Inside, of course, it has instructions. And one other thing when it comes to tourniquets, before I get into this one, just as a reminder, when you're putting these in your pouches, make sure that you have it in a way that when you pull it out, it is ready to go. Make sure it's wound up. There's a certain way you can wind these up to where you just pull it out. You can slip it on and it's ready to go. So make sure, especially with something like this, where it's going to be like you need it now, make sure it's ready to go. So you can kind of see the part you twist there. It's obviously bigger than the cheaper one. This definitely feels much more like the more expensive one as far as the size, the thickness, and just the overall quality. is definitely better quality than this little cheap one, for sure. Um, I'm pretty impressed. This is a piece of gear that I think is absolutely crucial to your kit. Everybody should have a couple of tourniquets. I have a couple in my truck at all times. But again, make sure when you're winding up, make sure when you pull it out, you're ready to go. You can just rip it out throw it on, tighten it, and twist this. Obviously this is, if you're not familiar with how tourniquets work, put this on high and tight. Again, I'm not telling you how to do this, I'm just, from my knowledge of what you're supposed to do, do your own research on how to do this. I'm not giving medical advice. And this part you basically is put the part that you twist to get the, bleed, the, the blood to stop. So again, make sure you get the proper training on these and you know how to use it properly. But I am pretty impressed. I do like the quality, it seems uh, tough, solid piece, um, no complaints there. So good, that's something you want. You wanna make sure that your medical equipment is good and ready to go. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, well you can buy much more, you know, better stuff. There's always gonna be something better, okay? But I think finding something kind of the middle of the road that you can afford, especially nowadays, guys, it's, things are expensive. People are trying to prep on a budget and being able to get a kit even just like this to keep in your car, throw in your range bag, just to kind of have with you at all times is absolutely better than nothing. And from what I've seen, the packaging, the quality seems great. I actually, I think I bought one of these bandages a long time ago. Didn't realize it, I forgot that it was from Rhino Rescue. So I'll put all their information in the description, links and the link to this specific kit. This one runs around $70 mark. Now, if you start buying all this stuff individually, things add up. So it's nice to have kind of like an all-in-one and they offer different sizes. Like I said, refill kits, extra bags, bigger bags that you can build your own kit, which is nice. Get a bag and you can always upgrade. That's what part of this is, is getting some equipment. And then obviously down the road, you can always 
upgrade your equipment, and I highly recommend everybody do that. If you have the extra money to get some better equipment, of course, get the better equipment. It'll serve you better in the long run, but not everybody has an unlimited budget, especially with the way things are, the prices of everything. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and there are huge thanks to Rhino Rescue for sending me this kit. Uh, it's great. I will definitely be throwing this in my car. So stay safe, stay vigilant. Talk to you soon. Bye.